the Miami Dolphins are 1-3 after losing to the Colts Sunday at Hard Rock Stadium but being 1-3 is hardly the problem and someone needs to be accountable. I won't focus on the defensive side of the ball. There were mistakes and bad plays so don't get me wrong but even a decent defense can't hold on forever when the offense is so bad they are basically a comedy of errors. Miami scored 17 points today but let us not look at that as being something to thump a chest about. Both touchdowns came late in the fourth quarter with the game already out of hand. There are not adjectives to describe the Dolphins' offense. They are simply bad. Jacoby Brissett? He is a problem but he isn't the biggest problem. The offensive line? Yeah. They are pretty bad but they are not the only problem. Miles Gaskin barely played. Malcolm Brown barely ran. Devontae Parker and Mike Jasicki were not used until the fourth quarter, at all. They are not the problem. The problem for the Miami Dolphins is coaching. Let me repeat this. The problem for the Miami Dolphins is coaching. Brian Flores hasn't had this team ready to play at all this season and we now realize that the win against the Patriots in week one was actually lucky and not simply a matter of playing a really good defense. The two offensive coordinator system doesn't work and making it even worse is that it is being said that Charlie Fry is calling the plays. So what is the point in having two offensive coordinator? What is the point of having one offensive coordinator if the quarterback coach is going to call the game? Which by the way, he doesn't do a very good job of. The offensive play calling is horrible. Forget about execution or timing or blocking schemes or receiver separation. The play calling is disgusting. There is no excuse for now having Parker and Jasicki part of the game plan for four quarters not just the fourth. There is no excuse for having Miles Gaskin on the bench so that Malcolm Brown can carry the load. Even if Gaskin is hurt, Salvan Ahmed is a better choice. On Monday, Brian Flores needs to make a decision and that decision is not trading for Deshaun Watson. He needs to fire someone. He needs to remove the play calling duties from Fry. He needs to shake this team up and it starts with him and his coaching staff. No one is being held accountable. Starting 1-3 is not the end of the world or the end of the season but this team isn't even prepared to play on Sundays and the defense is simply being worn out by the ineptitude of the offense. That falls on the shoulders of Fry, Flores, Eric Studsville, and George Godfrey. Once we see the problem with coaching addressed we can then hold the players accountable, and that will start with Chris Greer.